um, this is an exhibition of the changes that have taken place in Nepal during the last 30 years. The idea uh, rationale behind the exhibition is to create an educational uh, uh, exhibition that showcase the changes primarily based on art as in photos. It is the idea of uh, David Brashears, the mountaineer photographer and filmmaker. Um, and uh, so he went to the north side of Everest, 2007, with uh, um, PBS Frontline. And he took a picture with him uh, from George Mallory. Um, and he looked at the picture and then he looked at the uh, Rongbuk Glacier and he saw the difference. Um, so he came to us at the embassy and said, hey, I have this great idea. I, um, my company, Glacier Works, just had a fantastic exhibition at MIT, and we'd like to bring it to Nepal. Um, my first thought was, how are we ever going to do this? Because in Nepal, we face things like power cuts, um, and a lack of, of good infrastructure. In the ground floor, you see the uh, Kathmandu Valley, the challenges that Kathmandu Valley faces with air pollution, water supply, migration, urban growth, and uh, pollution and traffic. And working gradually up to looking at the landscapes on the second floor of the exhibition, looking into the people who are affected by climate change, not only in a negative way, but also focusing a bit on the positive things that can be said about the changes that happens uh, when we look at climate change. And then uh, on the top floor is mainly um, Glacier Works imagery, the gigapixel imagery of the summits, the glaciers, connecting them to the people, connecting to the challenges of the people, but also to a large part um, the comparative photography um, of glaciers now and then from historical photos and uh, comparing them to today. Initially with climate change, the rapid melting of the glaciers actually provides more water to people. But in the long run, as the glaciers retreat, uh, people lose their uh, year-round water supply, as you see in many villages, such as Day and Upper Mustang, uh, where the whole village is being forced to move because of the, the retreat of glaciers. Climate plus change has been an opportunity for us to present science in a visual, engaging, and interesting way. Um, especially targeting young people. The exhibition has really tried to um, be as interactive as possible. So there are various elements, um, such as on the ground floor, something really simple that we were able to do is have a big map of Nepal, um, and that particular area um, focuses on issues of migration. So we've asked people to place pins um, on the map uh, to indicate where they have come in from. And that already is a very visual um, and impactful way of saying how many thousands of people migrate into Kathmandu. Um, we have the fantastic screen uh, that is on um, loan from Microsoft. It's an interactive touch screen and it really allows people to go on these flights that uh, uh, David Brashears from Glacier Works went on and interact with those flights and uh, take that journey virtually. There's a special space dedicated to just reflection um, and uh, reactions. Uh, we've made it loungy and as comfortable as possible so people, um, after having spent some time looking, going through the exhibition, sit down and just reflect. And, and we have these walls that are now lined with just people reacting. Uh, to the content that um, they have learned and sort of experienced in the exhibition. So while Climate Plus Change will be in uh, Kathmandu through April of 2014, um, we also hope to use some of the material from Climate Plus Change on our book bus um, as it goes around Nepal. The book bus is a new project for the U.S. Embassy and it's a way that we can do some of our outreach activities in very remote areas of Nepal. Um, and I think that some of the material from Climate Plus Change will be uh, a really great addition to the book bus um, activities. It's quite clear from Climate Plus Change that the um, geography of, and uh, um, climate of Nepal is changing. Um, so the question is, what do young people do about it? So we hope to inspire um, kind of action and, and things that people can do on a local and also on a policy level.